in this video, we will demonstrate how existing enterprise administrators can manage enrollment to add, view, and delete other enterprise administrators. First, we need to log into the Azure portal. After we log in, we'll navigate to the cost management and billing blade. We'll need to select the appropriate billing scope. In this scenario, I'll click on TOSO. Next, we need to navigate to the access control blade. Next, we'll go over the steps on how to add an enterprise administrator. First, we'll click the add button and select enterprise administrator. First, we need to create an email address. Then we will have to select the authorization type for this account. The two options are Microsoft account and work or school account. In this scenario, we will click Microsoft account. Next, we will decide whether or not to provide read-only access. The default option is no. The who to notify field represents the email address to which the notification emails will be delivered for the administrator that is being added or invited. This is an optional field. Enterprise administrators will receive notifications for usages and quotas. We can choose a frequency of these emails as daily, weekly, monthly, or turn them off completely. The default is weekly. Next, we'll click add to add the role assignment. Next, we will cover over the steps on how to edit an enterprise administrator. First, we'll need to select the account that we want to edit. We'll choose this first one. We'll hover over here to open the context menu and we'll click edit. I'll make a change that the account will only will have read only access and I will click apply. Then we will have a banner that says we successfully updated the role assignment and the role change from enterprise administrator to enrollment reader. Next, we will go over the steps on how to delete an account. First, we will select the account that we want to delete. We'll select the same account that we edited. Then we'll open the context menu again and we'll click delete. Next, we will see an interface asking if we want to continue. We click the radio to confirm and we can click delete once we are ready. Today, we've covered how to add an enterprise administrator, how to edit a current account, and how to delete an account in the Azure portal.